Hello and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We're heading into Halcyon to talk to the big boss around here. Also getting a little bit ready for whatever we need. This place is cool. I like it. <laughs> but I need to get a little bit better at lockpicking. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. First now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, real scary. You're really gonna arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief June Lee's ship. You don't own shit here. Step back. I'm required by board bylaws to use excessive force. I'm just gonna <laughs> excessive back. force. Try not to touch anything. You'd think the board and its agents would be more content sitting at the, uh, the guy's just sitting here food chain as they are in the middle finals are scheduled to ah yes wheeler messaged me you were coming he must be the captain of the unreliable a vessel that used to be helmed by one alex hawthorne and you are not he has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer is that forget alex why you why did you impound my ship alex is dead this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? I, I kind of expected you to be a little tougher. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss. Were you, was he like a family member or your lover? Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. What was your relationship with him? He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Okay. I, I kind of see what's happening here. <clears throat> yeah, he did. Ah, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. <laughs> Tell me, how did he die? That's a lie that I... He was eaten alive by feral can canines. <laughs> Is that really a better way to go? Am I just lying here just to... Just for the sake of lying? No! How dreadful. That was always Alex's greatest fear, you know. Devoured by those fiends. Becoming one with their... Their droppings. At least you know that he was a brave man. Again, I'm very sorry. Can we back to the topic at hand? Uh, no, no, no. I'm not here to turn in Phineas Vellas. So about my ship. Fine. You're free to go. I've removed the impound order on your ship. But before you go, I did have one request. Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? anything at all you're super cool with me having his ship that you also well i don't know what you think fondly of but i don't know maybe whatever i'm just i'm just really happy that you're cool with me having his ship hmm. alex never mentioned phileas that's uh, well that's just terrible news. Law, oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? I don't wanna... <laughs> wow. I, I feel like I'm gonna accidentally say that, that I know where Phineas Vellas is because it just keeps popping up. I'm here about Jessie Doyle. I want her debt settled. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. Compulsory donation? She's worth more alive than dead. Put her under an indentured contract. Make her a slave? Oh yeah, make her my slave. That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. 
What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? The way I see it, she doesn't have much choice. I'm not gonna say where she is. I quite concur. It's refreshing to deal with someone practical for a change. <laughs> I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? Oh. <clears throat> Let's talk about something else. Be my guest. Uh, what do you do here exactly? I'm the certified representative of the board's interests here on the Groundbreaker. I'm their eyes, ears, and busy little hands. That doesn't answer my question. I send a lot of messages. Sometimes I read them. Every once in a while I'll impound a ship if I want to feel alive. Can you get me to Stellar Bay? Oh, good law! Who'd want to go to that toxic hell pit? Uh, back to my other questions. Ask away. They're just gonna get me in trouble. Alright, we're leaving. They can bust in. I can talk to Ellie. That I made her friend a uh, slave. Maybe we should do that now. Sorry, that's the best I could do. Wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. Except being right. That's nice, too. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. Oh, really? Are you saying you'll work for me just because I help Jesse? If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway. And you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. What exactly did Jesse do for you anyway? She helped me win a bet. What was the bet? We were on a smuggling run planet side when our point man bet me I couldn't outrun a mantisaur. What? Don't tell me you tried. What can I say? Something about people telling me I can't do a thing that just makes me itch to prove them wrong. And, as you can probably guess, the thing was faster than it looked. Probably would have caught me if Jesse hadn't picked it off. So she saved your life. Yeah, but the important thing is I won the bet. Yeah, but the bet wasn't outrunning a dead... dead mantisaur or whatever that is. <clears throat> okay, you're welcome aboard. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. <laughs> Meet me on my ship. It's docked by the promenade. Vicar Max, I'll catch you. I'll catch up with you on the ship later. Actually, Vicar Max has a quest here. But let's just send him away because I don't like him. <laughs> I don't like him that much. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real happy to have you. We can't get lost. Oh, we leveled up. That's kind of nice. So Ellie has a pretty okay pistol. And a, wow, surprisingly competent melee weapon. Tech skills. Medical. Well, I suppose medical helps. She's good at lying. Engineering too. Oh my god, she conflicts with Parvati. So now I have a team. 
that enhances my engineering by 21. I'm not sure if that's necessarily a bad thing. Engineering doesn't hurt. I can make my medical also 10 point better. Uh, so... Medical just affects how much the inhaler heals. Uh, that's not super important. And also the item slotted into the medical inhaler lasts a little longer. Not super important. She not dying. Now that's super important. Ah, uh, no, back. Uh, we can just apply. I always go for health. It doesn't give her that much, but not dying is just everything. I guess you're gonna go with that armor for now. Uh, what about the main character? What comes up all the time, I'm a little thirsty, is that I just don't have enough lock picking. What if I pop my leadership? I'm kind of curious what happens if I go over 50. Revert. So after I hit 50, with both skills, I can only specifically put point into one skill. What if I go tech? I hit 50. And I keep up. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, I see. So once you hit 50, in like tech, I can keep putting into science only, or I can choose to up the other two. But that doesn't affect science. So, in a way, having a more balanced uh, starting stat would be quite handy. And my starting stat is far from balanced. And it might make it tricky. I can go up to 50, but 50 is not going to get me much. I think we just want to up stealth here. At least go to 30. And this uh, allows me to reach up to 41 currently. But I kind of want to gain access to pickpocketing and uh, maybe finding more bits in containers. But yeah, just gain access to these skills. That would be nice. So let's apply. Interesting. Knowing this, I would have built the character differently. I would have tried to make the starting stats more balanced. Although I'm kind of making defense and melee uh, dump stats. I still could have made it a little bit more balanced. And sometimes when I take uh, uh, penalties here, like dexterity, I, I immediately go into heavy penalty. So... Spreading my points around a little bit could have been uh, more sensible. So probably that's what I would do. So I would, I don't know, maybe not one in each, but that, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay. That's still not an amazing weapon. Not compared to the heavy weapon or reliable. That's just crazy. Okay, let's go. Welcome aboard! I guess I have to have the characters in team uh, to, well, for them to uh, share their quest and. Uh, and Maybe not to progress their quest, but probably to progress their quest, kind of. What's going on here? Purchase a nav key. Stella Bray from uh, Gladys. Hmm. 
Yeah, we can just uh, go to space. We don't know where we can find uh, Captain McReed. Also, we gotta go to Scylla. Well, let's just go to engineering. Parvati wants to go there. Great crew. What's going on here? Spratwurst. <laughs> Why can I go inside here? Hey. If you're hungry, you've come to the right place. I've got a fresh ground batch of Spratwurst cooking. No. They're terrified that, that to lock sound. in the juices. How about a grinder's dozen? No, 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 no. That, 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 that didn't really sell it to me. I'll, I'll just see what you got. Fresh from the grinder, any hour. No, 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 no. Don't tell me what's it made out of. Whoa, what, what the hell? You're selling dehydrated water? Oh, I guess I'll buy that. I don't care about that, uh, uh, whatever that is. Ike's Armory. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ike. You look like someone who's taken their share of cuts and bruises. Need some armor? Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only a testament to its durability. Right. We also have a line of specialized melee weapons. For those times, you have to repel borders, but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. Okay. Are you a spacer? Not me, but it's in my blood. After the crossing, my family worked Eridanos, indentured to the corporations. Right. I was born in the corporate labor, but I'm the first one of my family to buy my way out. That's why I settled on Groundbreaker. It's the last bastion of freedom. So, what you got? Yeah, let's just go uh, by category. So, he's selling melee weapons that I don't care about. My melee skill is just ridiculously low, so we don't really know the true power of these weapons. Uh, that's not helpful. Level 13. Handguns 5. Yeah, that's not great. I don't, I don't care about light armor. I just want heavy armor. Or armor that gives me advantages. Uh, 19, but that's light armor. Again trash it's gotta be heavy armor okay and this doesn't look like heavy armor what is this crap where's the heavy armor the helmet helps me to lie how oh this is a good way to get some hacking melee weapons no what oh yeah weapon parts i guess that's it What's in the middle? To the back base. I didn't even consider that, but... <clears throat> hey, Greasy, what's Party up? Party greeting, potential customer. Welcome to Auntie's Kitchen, a home-style consumable protein dispensary. May this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. Uh, How about I look at it first? Beginning dispensing sequence. Please unblock all relevant facial protein ingestion tubes. Okay. You know what? Maybe some other time. Maybe some other time I'll be I'll be I'll be right back. Reward offered for information leading to the capture of Yoda Terrorist Minion Wells. Engineering. Let's check out engineering. This place is quite big. Okay, so it seems like the Groundbreaker has scaling loot, sells scaling loot. Uh, the loot maybe is based on my level, it seems like it, and it's always different. Maybe not, I'm not exactly sure how it works, but like I checked out these vending machines, I just did something else, then came back and it was different loot. It was worse loot. <laughs> so it's definitely RNG a little bit. And an old Yakita 37? You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? We ask, okay? Is it hot in here? Good law, the heat in here is so unbearable, I can hardly even concentrate. Hotter than usual in here. Hope we're not catching June Lay on a bad day. Everyone just complains. I have looked at half the best stuff. It's all pretty worn, though. Why not just have more engineers? Oh, June Lay Tennyson? 
June Lee Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Light. Uh, nice place you got here, chief. Yeah, I really like this place. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. No, no problem with me. I'll do whatever I can uh, to help uh, you keep the peace. Yeah. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Well, just, just passing through. <clears throat> just passing through. Now that my ship's out of impound, I can safely say I'm headed for Monarch. Do I wanna... well, I'll just say that. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. Dr. Fenho. I hope you've reconsidered my offer to stay on full-time. My crew are never short on dents and bruises. I'm trying to live a more balanced life. Gun in one hand, scalpel in the other. I already knew it'd be easier to teach an automatic heart surgery than to change your mind. Fair travels, Ellie. Is that even possible? Automacs seem clumsy by nature. They're risky, but the odds are still a little better than waiting for certain death. We don't see a lot of competent surgeons on Groundbreaker. Dr. Fenhill is my on-again, off-again freelancer. I take it she'll be joining your crew full-time? I don't like to put a label on things. Let's keep it casual. If you ever decide to settle down, there's a home for you on Groundbreaker. It seems kind of warm in here. What's going on? Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. What? That's that's not what I meant. I was like, never mind that. I just it just seemed like you like Ellie more. Why haven't you fixed them yet? Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Is there ro no room for compromise? None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping, and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. You need a contractor to work this out. I'm available for a reasonable rate. Oh, nice. Intelligence check. Intelligence check. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back base. Oh, back base. Easy peasy. Got it. I'll, I'll take care of that right now. Hold on. There's something you should know before you go charging off. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. What kind of miscreants? A have you tried sending anyone else down there to get the parts? I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense, but a freelancer like you is more dispensable. <laughs> Flash a rude gesture with both hands, not taken. Wow. Not taken. Nice and pragmatic. Thanks for understanding. Can we try to talk this out with whoever's down there? Those idiots are immune to reason, and they don't much care if the station melts to pieces. They're content to die last. Wow. If you could find some way to solve this without violence, I'd prefer that. But more than anything, we need those parts. Okay. I'll get you those parts. Good. 
Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. This is how around this place. Oh yeah, she wanted, Parvati wanted to talk to you. The ship's groaning something fierce, but I can make time for you. Parvati, you wanted to talk to John Lai. Go ahead. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking, I haven't got much experience working with actual... Real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. What? Not provided to continue. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. What? This went pretty well. John Light, stop thinking. Everybody, don't be shy about requesting time off if you need to compare notes in person. Yeah, I'm just gonna say that. Right! In person. Sh sure thing, Captain. Wow, great! I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. It's been a nice job, poor buddy. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if I think she would take Kit Nice Job Parvati as a compliment, but a lot of people wouldn't. I think. Even in her, her uh, little socially upward uh, state, like, she, she wouldn't uh, take it as a compliment. And I, I'm not holding it against her, like, she just likes machines, she likes uh, thinking stuff, I'm like, this is, this is fine. She just, I don't know. Okay, uh, I don't know, what, what should I say? Uh, thanks, Junlai. I had some other questions for you. Would that encourage her? I'm not sure how would she react, but I'm just gonna say nice job, Parvati. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Alright, we'll, we'll be going now. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Yeah, I'm not sure we need the workbench. Wait, I can just... Oh no, that would be stealing. Uh, I'm just uh, borrowing it for a little bit later. Okay, I don't want to kill all these people here. Field. Choice representatives would like to assure everyone that they are committed to people, factual advertising, and automation. Wow. This is Halcyon News, reminding you that there's no I in news, no we in Halcyon, and no Mercury in Saltuna. Would you fuck off? Hey, engineer, uh, I heard you were needed at the workbench. Very cool looking. Thank you. Alright. Ah, good work. What's what do you think you're Shit. doing? Um, I'll pay you 330 bits to look the other way. No, 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 no. I was just leaving. Nothing at all. No, no, no. I was just leaving. Oh, I guess, uh, never mind then. I think this steel drops my groundbreaker reputation. They saw me stealing. Okay, but that seems like a, a good gun to steal. Level 13 plasma, carabine. Let's do that. Oh, no. 
we can leave the Adreno. Oh, crap. Hey, I saw that. What do you think you're doing? Uh, I've, um, I'm, I'm just, I'm just leaving. Just keep your fingers to your own self, okay? I'm not sure how I feel about this, but it's it's better than everyone trying to murder me on the spot. So this way you don't have to super safe scum when you when you steal something. Pe technically we are still uh, suffering a penalty, but uh, it's not like game over. Like everyone attacks you on the spot. What happens in, for example, in Skyrim? Right. Even if you kill a Sublight. chicken, the and that kind of happens business. in most games. If you're caught you stealing, everyone so turns hostile. Like even in Divinity 2, you, you just steal, you caught stealing, and everybody, everybody turns hostile against you, which is just crazy. Like I, I would understand like the guy who I stole from, or maybe be like if I was like military, like anyone affiliated, maybe turn hostile against me, but. Like, or, I don't know, maybe a chance to kill them, whatever. Before everyone turns hostile against me, but like now everybody turns hostile right away. So, again, safe scumming is the only way, because it's just impossible to justify trying to steal. When you know the penalty is like, game over. Hmm... So... This goes Ellie, up. Or, uh, Dr. Van Helden. I noticed your pistol's been... What are you talking about? I oil it every night. Well, look here. Your slide's not recoiling fully. You might be due for a new spring. I could take a look. Maybe fix it for you. Uh, sure. I'm short on bits at the moment, but I'll pay you back. Oh, no. I mean, it don't cost nothing. I got a spare spring in my pocket here, even. Everything's got a price. Hey there, Tobias Oyama. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. Right. You the one flying the unreliable? <laughs> I guess I am. Name's Captain Lights. Uh, that's right, name's Captain Hawthorne. Sure you are. <laughs> Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Hey, Doc Fenhill. Glad to see you ain't moved on from Groundbreaker yet. Hey, Tobias. How's the leg? Good as you left it, ma'am. Still bends and everything. What happened to your leg? A bullet went through it. Most of the way. The other guy thought his ship was perfectly operational. I told him it was salvage. We disagreed. I won. Workplace hazards, Captain. Pretty routine around here. So you're a sublight employee? Well, that should be pretty obvious. Sure am. A few years back, they got me started on simple acquisitions. You know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn? These days, I stick to HQ and look after Miss Lilia. Oh. There's really not much else going on here, other than the boss sitting at the big, big table. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. <laughs> I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Aggressive Operations? <clears throat> Name's Light, Captain of the Unreliable. I'm Captain Hawthorne, the proud owner of the Unreliable. A little advice. Before you start telling lies, get a feel for who you're talking to. It's nice to see the Unreliable again. Useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor, 
I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. I didn't kill him. <laughs> well, that's definitely not suspicious. I didn't kill him. I didn't ask. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But there's a catch. Just like in the serials. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? I don't think I have the one of those. I don't have a nav key, but can I still take the job? I like that initiative, but ease back on the throttle. Gladys at the rest and go might have what you need. If there's anything else, be quick about it. Time is bits. Right. I think it's sublight isn't strictly a salvage operation. These days, the scrap business all but runs itself. Gives me the time to expand our interests into other sectors where I can let my hair down. What kinds of other sectors does sublight pursue other than salvage and shipping? Our field is persuasive acquisitions. At least that's how my legal advisors tell me to phrase it. Right. Not all of our salvage is abandoned when we find it. Sometimes it takes a polite conversation and a shot across the bow. You know, legal formalities. So you're a company of bureaucratic pirates. Your words, not mine. You're very honest about Sublight's criminal side. Hey. Careful with the C-word around here. I like to keep things above board, and that kind of talk only makes trouble. Sublight occupies a legal blind spot. No one knows what we're licensed to do, and that gives our little business some freedom. But let's not tempt fate. How organized is this business? Very. I have this thing about numbers in spreadsheets. Grids, in general. I like to think of myself as the last honest businesswoman in Halcyon, but I'll settle for being the most organized one. So, back to the other questions. Ask. I have nothing to hide. Really? Alright, let's go. Be seeing you. Make sure you aren't followed on your way out. <laughs> so you take real good care of your pistol, Dr. Fenhill. I oughta. It's kept me alive this long. I mean, you treat it nice. Makes me happy to see. I feel the same way about my wrench. Look, it's a tool that does a job. Feelings got nothing to do with it. Alright, we managed to explore uh, the whole promenade. We can go to the back base. Oh, hold the... on the frontier. Maybe I should head back to the ship and rest a little bit. At least we should drink. Okay, drink again. Maybe eat a little bit. Eat one more. But I'm still sleep deprived somewhat. Food addiction? <clears throat> you can't seem to stop yourself from eating. Even food that's bland or horribly flavored. Not eating often will cause withdrawals. If I take this, then we take a lot of penalties, but I would need to eat more often. But I get a perk point? I don't know, this might get a little annoying. I might reject this. It, this could be like completely pointless, but it also can be pretty annoying. I might just reject this. Not eating often will cause withdrawals. Let's reject it. I'm, I'm not taking it, that could be annoying. Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. 
back away now, or he'll parley with the king. Oh my no god, these guys rumors. killed a lot of people. This guy's crazy, even by my standards. I might need to <clears throat> change my armor. You kill people, so we are already not on friendly terms. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Burning to death is one of the most painful ways to go. Just in case you needed a reason to get us out of this. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Put that down before you incinerate the entire deck. <laughs> okay, so persuade and intimidate kind of interchangeable. I'm a little tempted to attack him, but let's not do that. I know this ain't a toy, neighbor from above. It's a catalyst, just like me. Keep talking. I like the sound of your voice. I'm here for some parts Jun Lai sent me. Oh, there's a bounty on his head. I want to claim the reward. That's right, sir. Just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. You won't even know we were here. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back with the crew. What are you doing with to that poor engineer? We were just sitting in a circle, sucking down exhaust fumes and toasting to the memory of our brain cells, making this broken angel fly again. So I grabbed that part then? You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. You bring tribute, sacrifices, prophecy, shit like that. <clears throat> How about I just kill you and take the parts? Take your best shot, out. Body. Down they go. Down. Oh my God, Parvati died. What is this crazy fight? All right, let's let's do the auto save. So this was before we came down here. We got into the stupidest fight. Can you guys just Brett, stay back? Are you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now. Look. Is you can I uh that's right. Tennyson. Take your best shot, Sure. You just get back. That was pretty strong. Come back. Come back. Get healed, guys. Wow, this is a stupid fight. <laughs> uh, maybe fighting is not the best option. Did I give him a bribe? Oh man, I don't want to. I wa this guy needs to die. That's the right call. Who 
Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? Oh. A neighbor from I'm above just, I'm just seeing our realm. Trying to Back look for now. a location where we can we'll actually with the king. pick a fight with them. No sudden movements. So this is crazy, even by my standards. Th that might be good. Can you guys just go there? That might be better. Look at the time to. Uh. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just fine. Ellie's super dead right away. <sighs> I'm not sure fighting is an option. At least not on this difficulty, maybe. Or not on this level. Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Look, time to... Okay, maybe we're gonna try attack once more. Their mistake. Get back, guys. Use the skills. Our body go hide. I don't want to body block the shot. Oh my fucking god. Ah, oh, companions! Why are you so dumb? If I could, uh, even order them to take cover individually, when I was, when it was me and Parvati, no fucking problem. Not a fucking problem, because I told her exactly where to go, but now if I tell her to hide Fred, over there... Are you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches like, it our It seems realm. okay now. Back away now. Like, maybe that's okay. I, I don't fucking know. King. But no last time, movement. one of them got super crazy, murdered. Even by my Ali got super murdered. And the game is just not set up for I'm difficult going. fights. Like, that's just terrible. Sure. Like, it's very, very basic. Super, super basic. Like, you don't even have the option to individually uh, set their position which would be good like uh Parvati would be standing here Ellie standing here I'm hiding behind the box because they obviously suck at that and the box is pretty good like look at this this very narrow angle I can take everyone comes in gets fucking destroyed but no it doesn't work look at this you can Make him a Go with their guys. Look at this. Ellie didn't even go back. Ah, oh, game. Okay. I guess we're gonna bribe him. That's just the smart play, I guess. Or, if we're gonna take a fight, we're gonna take a fight that's not completely retarded. Because, obviously, they set up this location to uh, murder everybody. This is not a good location to take a fight. Fair enough. Were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. No. Look. Is you can't. Okay. I I'm just here for some parts. Ten. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give him 700 bits. Tribute it is. And ain't this just a royal sum? Let's hope word doesn't get out about that. Wouldn't want to get a reputation as pushovers. Uh, don't we need those bits, Captain? To buy the key from the lady? You've got the run of the kingdom. 
Up those stairs, you'll find the parts. My crew won't get in your way. Uh, there was something else? Lay it on me, boss. I'm good for it. No, I'm not gonna... I saw your letter from Rizzo. Galactic Mushroom sounds like a great br beverage. They rejected it again, didn't they? I thought I could take my fungus garden and go corporate, you know? Damn! Well, maybe I'm better off. Uh, Rizzo's wouldn't know innovation if it bit him on their backsides. You're a natural inventor, Mr. McGred. Don't let him get you down. Kind of you to say, engine gal. You're a lighter in dark times. How did you end up here? Ship got impounded. The crew and I racked up a debt while we were grounded. And my baby got sold to Sublight. Scrapped for parts. That's bureaucracy for you. Piracy with a smile. Sounds uh, a lot like what happened to me. Am I your dark reflection? Shit, must be getting old. Stay here too long, and the groundbreaker drains you like a fuel tank. All right, be seeing you. You can come and go in my little kingdom. Just try not to piss off any of the gestures. <sighs> you bastards. This guy needs to die. Maybe we get our money back. Ooh. When we eventually kill him. It's like burning meat and bad hygiene. Oh, I, I can't steal their stuff. They don't care about the robots. They have a lot of stuff that I might want to. <clears throat> Sure. This place is falling apart. Can't spell groundbreaker without broken. Steal their stuff. More outlaws. What do you say we get out of here before we join whoever that was on the grill? And these guys need to die. Maybe we will have a chance to save the person who they are right away right now torturing and killing. Are those Hibernation pods, and I thought my bunk was small. Extend our sight. Oh, yeah. This is a uh, the hibernation chamber that we saw on the hope plasma rifle. Is it the same plasma rifle that I got? Oh, actually, that's worse than the plasma carbine. Heading back. Come, guys. So I got the part. Careful with that shit. He'll end up as crazy as he is. We still want to look around. Did everyone get branded when they join my friends? I don't care much for their stuff. Hey, I saw that. Okay. What do you think you're doing? Uh, I was just leaving. 
Don't let me catch you around here again. But do they are they considered the faction? Oh. Just a regular assault rifle that I already have quite a few of. It's pretty forgiving. They got the drop on us. Oh no, he's gonna go straight. Not the kind of scrape I want to get in. For body, you need to heal. Get back! Fucking shit! Why are you so dumb? I hate you! Game! I hate this shit. I hate this shit game. Why? I think the supernova difficulty is, I think hard might be a better option. Because now we lost all our fucking progress. Because. I just, I just don't have the tools to, comp uh, to control the companions. If I had perfect control over them, I think this would be like, like, like a easy fight. If I had three players here, who were working together. This guy and all the whole room would be dead in five seconds. And we would lose like no help whatsoever. But the companions are so dumb. Is there somewhere else that could, we can maybe take cover? Can I just go past? Not another step in that direction, friend. I don't know what to do. Is there like a way to oh shit. You know what? Okay. We can just go for the good old way to start fights. Okay, here we go. Keep being you. Practicing, I love that. You got it, Captain. That's a very old school way to start right. fights. Nice and work. Don't don't get into way. Reload this crap. Oh my god. I'm going. I'm take the crap ton of damage. What the fuck? Please reload this shit. My close friendly fire, please. Ellie, don't die. I'm just gonna keep healing. Okay, you guys are at least safe. I'm more sensitive. I'm gonna be fine. Nailed him, Captain! Oh, yeah, we did it! Woo, we totally outsmarted them, right? What the Montag? It's a heavy weapon. Tech skills close. Sneak goggles. I'm on my way. Wow. I don't like starting fights like that, but I guess this is gonna be the plan fucking B. Uh, ambidextrin drug. Uh, is that any good? It's hard to say. We can just pick it up and uh, decide later. And just do the looting now. Uh, yeah, pick it up. Actually, no. Standard troop armor. I can just. Uh... I actually had crappy armor. And even despite that, I'm a little thirsty. Uh, that's affecting my skills. Bring that. That should be good. 
Might cost me nothing to lock the cat. Ooh, give me long guns and 29, uh, 21 armor. Anti-riot gear. That's basically made for me. Deck skill. So I can use that. 21. Where is that? Not a peep for me. Just keep, keep quiet. Oh, actually, fuck. We might still have some enemies left. Not too many, but some. What? Oh! I'm, I have too much stuff. Uh, break down. Break down. Uh, can be list by weight value. Uh, that's actually quite decent. I don't like these menus. They're very console-like. Wow, this is terrible. Weight value is pretty poor. Uh, I'll just go with that. This should be enough. And we're just gonna go around, loot everything. Oh, we can't get in. Actually, we can get in. Because my lockpick is so high. I'm ready for this. Here I go. Yeah. Transitioned into a panther. Oh fuck. Looks like it hurt. They are not alright. I guess we're good here. Uh, let's just try to be thorough, else it's gonna be a total mess. Can't do that. Wow, I really like having a higher lockpick. I hate not being able to uh, just explore the area. What is this? Enclosed Battle's Helm? Yeah, whatever. We're taking it. One thing that it cost me is a lot of heavy ammo. Get out of here before we join whoever that was on the grill. Mm, we're good now. Everybody's dead. There's no way to play it safer than this. <laughs> it seems like there's not much we can do with these bandits. So cozy. And I don't really want to make friends with them. They're murderers. They killed the engineer. Even if, like, that guy would have turned out to be a follower, which I very much doubt, uh, I would have not used him. Because he's a murderer. Okay. Ooh, smells like burning meat and bad hygiene. These guys are... At least they're dead now, so... That's a plus, maybe? Can't get in there. Did everyone get branded when they joined my group? They got the job! <laughs> Here we go. Rip from the door. Everyone all right? 
Yeah, we're just fine. Okay, his mushroom form. Oh, look at the bright side. I guess regular people will be able to come here. Oh, hunting rifle. I sold my other hunting rifle because... Oh, maybe... Probably not sold. Probably scrapped it. Because it didn't want to repair it. Honestly, it doesn't do too much. I suppose the plasma rifle is better. Plasma carbine. Plasma cutter. Armor parts. Actually, I'm carrying too much stuff. Uh, but only because I'm hungry. Yep, yeah, I'm good now. Guess what, guys? Uh, well, this was kind of messy. I know we just went in there, in here, lost many, many times. But, yeah. Not too bad. We got him in the end. These those rangers. Okay, actually, I kind of need some heals. Also, we kind of need some rest. Should I return and tell her what's up? You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Uh, I got the parts for the radiators. What now? Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manticular infestation. What? Define slight. I got your parts. Why do I have to go... To go to some maintenance shaft? Because I'm expendable. If every repair was a one-woman job, I wouldn't need an engineering team. As it is, my staff is busy keeping the station from melting down. You can flip a switch for me, but you can't install these parts. Not quickly, at least. Not on the first try. Able, though, you've proven to be. Alright. I head down. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Prepare your rocket launchers, team. If we had that, uh, maybe uh, it's time to take a break. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.